Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. This is going to be the first video in my next series for my woodworking line of videos. Um, as you can see here, I bought a new saw because like I said, the other one was getting dull. It's a resharpenable one. I got it for $8.99 at my local independent hardware store. It's a cross-cut saw, even though on the package it says general purpose. So if you look, it's cross-cut. Those are cross-cut teeth. Now you can make this a rip saw either by just simply filing the teeth straight across, or if you wanted to completely uh, refile new teeth. Um, but this, this is resharpenable. I don't like the handle. I really don't like that handle. It's not, it's not the most hateful thing I've ever seen, but it's nowhere near the best. Um, so there's tut tutorials on, um, making your, your own saw handles. Um, if you want to look them up, go for it. But, um, yeah, so, this is the saw I'm going to be using. Like I said, $8.99 at my local independent hardware store. Um, now, once I'm done here, I might just refile it for rip. And... Just keep it for a fine tooth rip saw for like smaller stock, you know, like half inch stock or thinner. Anyway, the next thing we're going to be working on is what to do with scrap. Scrap, as you know, is anything that's left over from when you build a project. Now, a lot of now for a lot of woodworkers. We hate giving up scrap because we know how expensive wood is. And there's always that voice in the back of our head that, oh, maybe I could use it for this later. Maybe I could use it for something later. Maybe I use it for something later. And then later never comes and we're drowning in bits and pieces of wood that we can never and will never use. Luckily, these are in big enough chunks that we can do something with these. And I'm actually going to show you how to make um, candle stands out of them. Um, you'll have to buy a few like other things for it, but pretty much everything is right here. Everything you need. And I already got some of the tools out. Um, and I've got everything out. And as you can see, this will be in metric so for my viewers from the rest of the world this will probably be a much easier video series for you to follow and for my american viewers hey i learned the metric system in school so you probably did to just try and brush up on it um so yeah and that's basically it. Um, so yeah. Like I said, I'll be testing out the new saw. Seeing how it cuts. And, you know, I, like I said, I just wanted to show you that, like I said last time, you can still get pretty decent crosscut saws for really cheap. I think I said for around 20 bucks and this was less than $10. So and there are other man, uh manufacturers out there as well. M most are owned by Stanley at this point, but um but great but great neck saw manufacturer that's still they're still in they're still a brand that manufacture they manufacture a lot of store brands. If you ever bought a store brand tool whether it's a screwdriver a saw a hammer a drill a, 
a hand drill, a hand, hand brace or, you know, something like that, you've gotten a great neck. Um, they make, uh, they make, uh, Buck Brothers, um, line of tools for Home Depot. Um, they make Ace brand store, Ace hardware store brand. So, I mean, they're out there. They're not owned by Stanley yet. I don't think so. I have to look into it. Um, but yeah, there, you, there's still plenty of really cheap hand saws out there. Cross cut saws. And with a little bit of work, you can refashion one into a rip saw. And, you know, just in case you didn't want to go on the secondary market and try to re rehab a Vinci saw or pay out the nose for a Vinci saw in really good condition or a brand new uh, premium saw. So, all right, guys. Um, out. Really short video today. And next time I'll see you, we'll do the candle stand build. Alright, out.